Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the Zodiac because I have Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius and you're on your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. Also, you guys, I'm doing personal reading. So if you want a personal reading, just email me. My email is in the description box down below. So let's see. Spirit guys, I love light, ancestors, and the masters, my angel of the prime night. So what's going on for Aquarius, my collective? Peace out to receive clear and concise messages. Move anything here that's trying to confuse me. So let's see what's going on. So we have here the star. I'm gonna start getting more cards that's like this, that's like small and like got this material on it because it's like when I be using the big cards, I don't know, it just be having my hands feel weird. I don't know. I just like the small cards better because my hands are small. So let's see. You can have small hands. Okay, somebody could like how your hands look. Or somebody could be going like shopping for you for a ring. They could have asked you like your ring size or something like that. I was just cooking. I got this seasoning in for my nails. It's like Goya seasoning. You know that orange Goya? I need to wash my hands. Hold on, you guys. So we have the star here, Aquarius energy. So you guys could be doing some healing right now. Okay, you are trying to train your mind to think positive. You know, it's like you, you're done, like allowing these negative thoughts to take over your mind because it's so easy to think negative, you know? I'm saying you could get a lot of attention. You could be in the spotlight here. You could have like an Aquarius tattoo or a star tattoo or something like that. You could be like an artist, like a singer or something, a songwriter, or like a therapist or counselor or something. And we have Ace of Cups, beautiful. Okay, so you guys could be going into a new romantic connection here. Okay, I'm seeing here that somebody from your past also they want to amend things with you so it's like they could be thinking positive and having hope and being optimistic hoping that you guys could you know fix your connection and move forward <clears throat> but i'm also seeing new love here and this person that could be coming in towards you this person they could be in the spotlight as well okay we have the four of cups here somebody here think that you're going to reject them we have a six of cups in reverse. Like, you, yeah, like you're not going to want them. Or this person could be rejecting somebody to come in towards you. Because whoever they was dealing with, they wasn't happy there. They was born discontent there. Okay. Queen of Wands. Can I find the Queen of Wands? Spare guys overnight. The Hierophant. What else for the Queen of Wands? And the five pentacles yeah they left a feminine energy out in the cold here <clears throat> this could have been somebody here that they was being deceptive and sticking behind your back still dealing with when you guys were just dealing with each other but they with the heart for here they could have been married to this person okay and i'm also seeing here they could have like known this person for a long time here and they could have had certain traditions and beliefs that made them stay in this connection or they could have just um been the type to you know <clears throat> Trust people that they knew for a long time, but that's not a good belief to have. Like, because you know somebody for a long time, that should be the person that you trust before a new person. Like, you know, that's stupid, actually. But, um, yeah, this person that they were dealing with was very, like, territorial and aggressive and defensive here. 
And with the Queen of Wands, I'm seeing that this person could have like used a sexual energy on this person to keep them in this relationship with them. Yeah, it's like they gave their power to this person. But I feel like they trusted this person enough to give their power to them, you know? Like, they thought that this person was moving with good intentions, like they would never do them bogus or nothing like that. But it's like, they just they were just missing that um factor, you know? Like, they probably could have had it when they first met, you know? But it's like, it faded away when they met you or before they even met you. That's why this person met you in the first place, because they wasn't happy where they was at. So let's see what else. Ten of Swords, yeah, they was in a, this karmic cycle here. And this person, they could be going through some type of painful, like, you know, ending right now. And I'm also seeing this feminine energy here. I wanted this person to stay because with the Five of Pentacles here, to clarify the Queen of Wands, it's like they only be with uh, somebody for money. Like, they marry for money. They only deal with you if you got money, you know? Like, they don't deal with you because they actually like you, your personality and stuff like that. Like, somebody here, like... It just basically a gold digger, <laughs> you know. Yeah, ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and an ace of wands. It was just sexual and transactional. What else? Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person, they're releasing this emotional baggage here, this regret. It's like they're starting to um, tell themselves, like you know, like I don't regret anything because if I didn't go through that, you know, I would have learned my lesson, you know. So it's like they're not they're not beating themselves up anymore. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what this person could be doing. They could be thinking positive, like I said in the beginning of the reading. <clears throat> Y'all could be mirroring each other, actually. Yes. It's like that's all somebody here had to offer was sex. Too many cards, spirit. It's like. You know them, them karmics that just that's all they have to offer is sex. They don't have no, no substance about them or nothing. That's how this person um, met whoever that they was dealing with for a long time here. It was on and off. And then they get back together and have sex and everything could be good. You know, then it'd be the same thing. You know, <clears throat> I'm seeing here this person could have had like a sex addiction to the point where it's like they could have cheated. And did something behind this masculine's back. Probably that this masculine don't know. I don't know. They're taking this to the grave with them. Some of you guys, this masculine do know. What else? <clears throat> but it's like the love is here between you two. Page of Wands. Yeah, this person, they're going to be communicating to you about everything that happened, that went down, and why they rejected you. You know, because it was somebody here. Like I said, they don't want this person to come back towards you. Don't want to, you know, <clears throat> they don't want this person to be with you. Because they sing like you give a different vibe. Like this person, they knew this person was in love with you and not them. Because how the way that this person talked to this comic, they had called them out their name or, you know, like. But you want, you're not going for none of that. Like, you want to respect me, you know, somebody here. Like to be disrespected. They like toxicity. What else? Now this person, if they have a child with this person, they'll just focus strictly on the, the child. We have the eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is not <clears throat> trapped anymore. The eight of swords in reverse and the ten of pentacles is like <clears throat> they see the truth. Mm-hmm. They feel free as well. Like this person is like they feel tied down, like they come loose, like they were restricted or something. Somebody here could have just been getting out of jail. Okay. You guys could have been talking to each other while this person was in jail. This person could have been seeing like love letters and stuff. Like when your birthday came, you could have been doing the same thing with them. Or like when Valentine's Day or Sweetest Day or something like that. <clears throat> what else? Yeah, but they feel like they had to stay somewhere. And it's in pentacles here. Yep. And that's where this tower happened. Clarify the tower. This change. 
Yeah, Nine of Pentacles here. Now this person are coming in towards you to commit to you. And they know that you're not like this karmic here. <clears throat> like you definitely don't need them for their, their money. <clears throat> and it's like you don't move like that. Like that's so like, that'd be so draining for me to move like that. Like I don't know how these karmics do it. <clears throat> they just got to be really hateful really like jealous or something like that or they could have seen their mother do that you know and they thought that shit was cool but that's not yeah not a pinnacles and eight of pinnacles so yeah this person they're coming to um fix things with you okay you guys could both be paying attention to your finances right now or you could be waiting to hear back from a job or i'm saying you could have your own business yeah very hard working here and this person they're working extremely hard as well because it's like they want to come in towards you and you know be set so they could have this new beginning with you king of cups in reverse though oh and we have the magician in reverse and we have here the hermit yeah, they're also, ooh, Seven of Swords, I knew that. They're also seen here, since the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, that it was somebody here that was doing some dark magic, some spell work here. Can I find the Magician in Reverse? To cause some type of um, change in y'all connection so this person won't come in towards you. Can I find the Magician in Reverse? The entrance. What else? For the magician reverse. Yeah, somebody here was doing. It. Yeah, so they could get justice in the situation here. They were trying to manipulate the situation or be emotionally manipulative here. It's like even though this person is a female in body, it's like they have a lot of masculine ways about them. Like this is a whole man. <laughs> like you're not no female you a man you a nigga and i could say that okay please don't come for me in the comments or make a fuss about it please don't let's not go there but we have the empress and justice yeah somebody here thought that they was like going to get justice in the situation by doing this magic like they thought that they was being smart like this person with the honey here it's like they went with them and they looked and see how you do this shit Whatever the fuck they was doing, that they weren't supposed to be doing. To make somebody love for you go away. Like, that's impossible. The tower, that's inevitable. So it's like, you probably didn't know that, Karmic, but that's what the fuck is going on, okay? You can't stop nothing. If God says it, it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. Who the fuck are you? What else? And we have here the little fortune. Yeah, it's going to happen. Now this person has moved away from you with the hermit here. They're reflecting and they're seeing the truth about you and what you was up to and what the fuck you was doing behind closed doors. And they're going towards the person that they're destined to be with. And when they get together, it's going to be so abundant. So everything that you were trying to take from this person, how this person juggling to make a decision here, that's... They're going to get that 10 times more. Since you want to be greedy. Now you got to fear for yourself. Which you already should have been doing. Instead of relying on this person to do everything for you. Well, most of everything. You feel me? So, let's see. What are some messages that this person wants to tell Aquarius? And I feel like this master could have been emotionally manipulative. Or is it emotionally abusive? Yeah, that emotionally abusive. Somebody, I keep saying manipulative. Somebody was being very manipulative. But I feel like they was being like that way towards each other. But somebody here could have been like emotionally abusive here because it's like they were trying to make it seem like they loved this person and they didn't. It was just all, oh, yeah, I want to start a family with this person. Yeah, you're divine masculine. See? Will you marry me? Mm-hmm. And our connection is so much deeper than sex. 
you know. So let's see what's going on. And it's like it made this mask gonna be confused. Like, who got love for me? Like, who genuine? Like, I'm gonna just stick with the person that I knew for a long time, you know. But now they have woken, so that's good for them. So let's see what's what is this mask gonna want to tell their beautiful twin flame. So we have here our connection is so much deeper than sex. So that's we have here Aries Leo Sagittarius to be in the picture. Their body is so sexy. We have here no one compares to you. We have I'm trying to move on, but I can't. So they could have tried to move on from you because <clears throat> they didn't, they, they was confused. They was being manip manipulated. But it's like, no matter whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. You know? Or they, like I said, this person was doing some, you know, magic and shit to move this person away from you and it could have been working. But apparently it didn't work enough. I'm not attracted to them anymore. Yeah, they're not even attracted to this card. Right? They look at this person like, ugh. Like, how did I have a family with you? I'm hiding a lot right now. That could be this karmic in this person's energy. I'm tired of my person. <laughs> they're tired of this person. We have here, I miss what we had. Please reach out. So if this person reached out to you and you didn't hit them back, then they want you to reach out. But don't reach out to this person. Allow them to, you know, I'm jealous of your new lover. So this person, they could, yeah, you could have a new person that you're talking to. I don't know. And they're like, well, I can't reach out to you. So I'm going to reach out to me because apparently you have a new person, you know. But I was... And I will treat you better than your ex. So what's somebody here that this masculine has competition with? This divine masculine that's trying to take his place. Oh, God. <laughs> and I did get that too with the star and the uh, ace of cups here that it's new love. So I don't know. Gonna have to choose. But, um, you know, you have free will. So whatever you're... You know, your heart desires, I guess, you, you know. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.